Hi everybody, hey, 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 how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Toll's Way, it's Ashley. Welcome back, welcome back. I know it's been a while. It's just been a lot going on, y'all. It's been so much going on. So, um, you know, I'll be filling y'all in or whatever, but um, today we have the Amazon favorites. So yeah, today's video is gonna be about Amazon favorites, my favorites at right now. Honestly, <clears throat> this video could be really long because I am like addicted to Prime, like everybody's probably addicted to Prime, but <laughs> I am addicted to Prime. I'm trying my best to stop, but for now I thought it'd be cool if I narrow it down to like 10 things right now that I'm really loving. Um, that was kind of hard. I have so many things from Amazon, so I mean, I'll definitely do more because I think this will be fun. And I just like, I am an Amazon Prime girl, like I love Prime. Um, you, who doesn't? I mean, you can find everything on there. I mean, everything on there. So I'm really excited. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit of, um, it's like some things for the kitchen. It's just all over the place, honestly. But it's just the 10 things that I'm loving right now. So, um, I'm going to bring you guys along. Um, also, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Ashley. This is Toll's Way. And, um, yeah, I mean, this channel is like, kind of like all over the place. We do a little bit of everything. Thing. Um, so you know subscribe like and share um, and welcome to the family but yes um, in this video I will be doing an Amazon Prime um, faves top top faves right now and not even top faves but 10 favorites that I'm loving right now it's not the top because I love so many so yeah I'm gonna bring you guys along <laughs> start off with um my favorite <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the number one um because and I don't even know like top 10 number one whatever this is my favorite one out of all of them this is number one for me this is number one if I had to repurchase anything again I would definitely purchase this again um and so that is dun, 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 the cordless musu vacuum yes musu all right, so this is the thing. This is like a dupe for the Dyson. It is like, it extends. This is like a dupe for the Dyson, right? So if you're, I don't know, if you're anything like me, listen, I love cleaning. I'm like addicted to cleaning and it just calms me down. I just love a clean house. And so I have like wood floors. Well, you know, like the, the, the fake wood floors or whatever. But anyways, um, I have like the wood floors. Um, it's so hard to keep those floors clean. Like sweeping them, you can sweep and sweep and sweep and then the next thing you know, you put the broom away and then you look down and it's like, what in the world? And I'm so OCD. I don't like anything on my floor. Like I don't like anything on my floor at all. And it's hard when you have a five-year-old. And you already know, crumb city, crumbs everywhere. I'm talking about like crumbs everywhere. And personally, you know, I mean, and that's, that's, that's just how it is when you have a, a, a little kid. So getting that broom out and sweeping it and the next thing you know, it's somewhere else. And it's, I need something practical. I have like a big vacuum, but again, on the, on these type of like hardwood floors, you can't even like, you're not gonna pick up that big vacuum and that vacuum like doesn't pick everything up and I'm not and then like so it's like constantly sweeping and it's just it was a headache and I wanted something that would be easy easy to just pull out and really not even pull easy to just grab suck some stuff up off the floor clean like like if I used a broom and then also I have like I put my own carpet down here in the living room so I'd like something quick if they could go from carpet to flooring really fast the vacuum I mean the bathroom her room anything like that so um I was doing like a lot of research so you know of course I wanted the Dyson but honestly like was it really for me you know did I really want to spend that much money on a Dyson but I didn't really want to spend that much money on a cordless vacuum um so I started doing like a lot of research and y'all let me tell you 
this thing right here the head is a little dirty but whatever because I'm just keeping it real I use this every single day listen to me y'all every single day this musu y'all let me zoom in so you can see it this musu listen get it run and get it it is everything like y'all y'all is tried and true. I'm trying to tell y'all, I have used this vacuum every single day since I bought it. And I've had this vacuum for months, months. I've used it every single day. I can't even explain to you how awesome this vacuum is. Like, it, when they say that this thing compares to the Dyson, y'all, it does. I've seen so many reviews comparing the Musu to the Dyson. Y'all, it's so comparable. Do, do your research. If you don't trust my word, do your research. Look it up. Look it up. Look at all the comparable uh, reviews from the Dyson and the Musu, and you will see. This Musu, y'all, I'll never go back. Now, granted, I still keep my big vacuum. Like, if you have, now, if you have, I'll, I'll say this. If you have, like, all carpeting in your house, this might not be the best for you. Like, if you have carpeting all over, uh, then maybe, I mean, then, then you know. What I'm saying is, for me, I still have my heavy-duty vacuum. Do I pull it out as, as often? No. The only place here that has vacuum, um, vacuum, the only place that I, in my house that has a carpet, other than the one I put down in the living room, is my bedroom. So, for my bedroom, sometimes, not even all the time, sometimes, like when I'm doing a deep, deep, thorough cleaning, I'll pull out the big vacuum. And same thing with the living room carpet floor that I put down. I mean, the carpet in the living room. When I want to do a deep, 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 I'll pull out, when I pull out, basically when I pull out the vacuum to vacuum my room, the big vacuum is when I'll vacuum this one. Other than that, it's this baby. This is it. Spot cleaning, it's daily cleaning, after eating cleaning, after you cook cleaning, after you take out the trash cleaning, you're walking in the house, you got the company coming in, pull this out. Listen, I even, listen, I even, I even, y'all might think I'm a little crazy, but I even vacuum my patio. Like, okay, so I... I put tiles out. I have like these Ikea tiles on my patio with like the fake grass and all that. But I'll sweep and whatever's left, I'll even use this to vacuum. Now, I mean, you can vacuum your, your couch, everything. I'm talking about everything. And so the cool thing about this vacuum, so let me just show y'all the cute, cool thing about this vacuum. I'm not going to go like into deep detail, like a, ma a major review, because I mean, there's plenty of reviews online that you could look up. And you know, I mean, I guess I could have cleaned the head out a little bit, but whatever. This is real. If you don't like it. On to the next, but y'all, it's so easy and so practical. It has like a base, you just plug it up and it attaches right here. I just keep it, I mean, and it's cute. So, I mean, it's not an eyesore, it's it's cute. So I just keep it right there in like the dining room, plugged up to the wall, and then they have like a mount you can mount it on. Well, I don't need, I mean, I should, because I just keep it against the wall. So I should just go ahead and mount it because I keep, that's where I keep it anyways. But um, yeah. You just attach the little thing right here and that's it it's good it lasts like i mean i can clean the whole house and it doesn't die and it doesn't die i don't remember all the deets of like how long it lasts but it lasts a long time and it has like a it's two modes here i'm gonna cut it on for you you hear that it has the regular mode and then it has the the super mode the super mode and it's not the super mode is um like sucks even harder and the bomb thing about this y'all is it has a light like so if it's nighttime or it you know if you don't want to like cut on the left for me it works so like when my daughter sleep and you know the after hour cleaning because sometimes that's the only time you can get it done this vacuum is not even loud like it that's another I'm just, it ain't even loud my friend listen that is so soft and sh listen my daughter's a light sleeper but when this I, I can vacuum she ain't waking up I can literally vacuum and she ain't waking up at all. Like, it's literally... It, it, Y'all. But anyways, also... So, it has the extension. It can go higher, lower, you know. But also, you can detach it. You can use this for the car. It's portable. It has so many attachments. Look, if you click... If you press this button and click it off, it's detachable so and it has like other pieces you can take this off if you want you can attach just this bottom part to that and suction and it has a whole bunch of attachments I didn't pull all that out because really this is not like an in-depth this is not a review this is literally me just showing you my Amazon favorites but anyways this is that y'all this vacuum amazing 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 here I'm just gonna show you really quick of me vacuuming my floor just
Okay. All right, so that was number one. So now we're going to go on to the second thing. Okay, so anybody that knows me knows that I'm a candle lover. Like, I'm an OD candle lover, y'all. Like, an OD candle lover. I love candles. I'm a candle girl. Like, listen, I love candles. So, with that being said, I'll do this first because it kind of goes hand in hand. So, you know, like, if you're a candle person, you know that you need to clip your wicks. You have to clip your wicks. If you want the candle to burn right, the, the scent to be good, the throw to be good, the candle to burn all the way down, and you just, you don't want no set. Some candles still get, throw a little bit of set, but I'm saying, minimize the set and the popping when you cut on the, when you light your candle, you have got to get a wick clipper. Do you see this wick clipper? You have got to get one of these. So I got this candle accessory pack from Amazon. Let's see if it can focus on. Candle accessory pack. Can you see it? Right here. Yeah, so I got this candle accessory pack from Amazon, and y'all, it was cheap, but it's the bomb. Like, it cuts the wicks amazing. It cuts the wicks so good, like, y'all. Listen. And also, let me show you. It came with a few other things. Let me show you. Okay, so it came with a few other things. All right, so, of course, it came with the candle, the, the wick clipper, which is this one right here. You see the whip clipper right here? All right, so it came with that. The way it works is almost like scissors. Can you see? It's almost like scissors. So it literally opens. It literally opens and you just clip. You place it down on top of the, the candle wick and clip. And the good part about this one is like when you clip and pull up, the wick usually stays right here attached usually until you take it to the trash. You could open it and dump it. But also... It also came with the, to blow out the candles. Cause you know, like really you're not supposed to blow out your candles. You're supposed to like smother the candle. That's why the lid is for, but it comes with this. So you could just cut, like blow out the candle like this, place this on and the, and the light will go off <laughs> the light. The flame will die. Do this and the flame will die. Also it comes with this. It's a candle tool. Okay. Another thing. So have you ever had a candle, right? You're burning it. Um, sometimes the wicks will lay flat like it'll start the, the wick will start like leaning over into the into the wax So then when you go to go light it again, you can't even get to it You can't light it. It's not right Like if it's a three wick candle, you can't even pull it up because sometimes the wick is already is leaning It's already then got inside the wax and the wax is hard. So how are you gonna light it up? And then it, it, it or while the wax is pooling sometimes it'll start leaning like it'll start the wick will start curling from the flame and just leaning towards the wax this tool helps you pull it out and even if the wax is cool i've had i've used this several times if the wax is cool this is what the tool looks like but if the wax is cool right um like it's basically hard you could pull it out and like dig in the wax pull it out and you're good to go and light your candle so i'm going to show you really quick how this works so I have a new candle right here, Pacific Redwood, and this is the, um, the wick clipper that I'm showing you. All right, so this is a new candle. The wicks are too tall. I mean, somebody else could have cut this on like this, but I, I, I don't. I, I'm not because, because the wicks are too tall. Look at it. You see how the wicks, if I turn it to the side, you can see that the wicks are too tall. Like, is the flames going to be real high. Like, and I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want that. We need to be safe around here. And I have a little kid and stuff like now. So what I would do, and I'm going to show y'all really quick. I'm going to take this clip. This is the wick clipper. So I'm going to grab this. See, place it right. Let's see, not even halfway, just a little bit. I don't even think that's not even a, like a tiny little bit clip. You see how it gets stuck? So I clipped it. You see how it gets stuck right there? Now you're ready to take it to the trash. And you see the difference? Look at this wick. Look at the height of this wick and the other ones. Oh, my ring light's in the way. I'm trying to get y'all to see. So I would do that for each one. I'd go ahead and do the, the next one. I'm going to turn so y'all can see a little bit. That one fell in there, but that's okay. Okay, so you grab the wicks, throw them away. And now, we're good to go. The wicks are perfect. The wicks are perfect. So that was number two. 
number three. All right, since we're talking about candles, number three, y'all, listen. And I mean, this one is just not for candles. This is just for anything. But, I mean, the main, the main thing that I use this for is for my candles. So, really, this tool is really for my candle. All right, y'all. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with this lighter. Do y'all see this? This is an electric lighter. So, let me tell you how many times I've ran through candles. Like candle, uh, we call it lighters. Those long ones that is made for candles. You can use them for whatever, but I use them for candles. Those long ones, I'll go to like Dollar Tree, wherever, and get them. And you know how many times I've been so mad because I thought I had more and I used them all? And then I'm like, oh my God, where's my, oh, I gotta go to the store. So, this is one, you will never run out. It never runs out. It's an electric lighter. And it's so sleek and like, look at it. You know me. It's very, it's aesthetically pleasing. I love you know, you know, I like for everything to look good. But look at this. This is bomb. This is another thing that I've had forever. I feel like, I almost feel like when I ordered my vacuum, I ordered this. And it's almost been like a year. I don't know. This thing is the bomb. I've had this for a long time. Let me show you how this works really quick. So, you know, I'm going to use that same candle that we were working with. So, anyways, the way this works, if you can see this side, mind you, all my stuff has been used. Like, I'm showing you all reviews of things that I've actually really amusing. Like, on a daily basis use almost yeah basically I think all the things let me go through my list really quick y'all I probably use everything on my list every day so okay so anyways the way this works all right so this is the charging part back here it has like a charging port the charging port is back here I don't know if you can see it yeah the charging port is back there Okay, so you'll plug it up to charge it or whatever. It lasts a few days. Like, I, I honestly feel like I can go, like, a whole week sometimes. Like, honestly, depending on, like, how often I'm burning the candles. But I can go, like, a whole week without charging it. And so, basically, this button right here, it's not even a button. It's like a push push button. So it's like a push button. You slide this up, and it lights up. Do y'all see that? Is this light too bright? Anyways, you see this button right here? You slide it up, and it turns on. These dots let you know what kind of charge you got. So right now it's fully charged because I had it on a charger last night. It's fully charged, but it'll let you know as you go to go use it. It'll, like, if it starts going down, you'll see, like, okay, once it gets down to, like, right, these two, or the last one, you know, okay, I need to charge it before it dies. But anyways, you slide that back. In order to use it, you push this up, and it will dispense this, like, prong thingy. And once it dispenses that prong... That, it's ready to use. So it almost has like a safety feature. So you'll slide this down, press the button that's under there, and voila, bomb. Look, y'all. Literally, slide it up. You see the lights? Press the button. You can't see it. And it lights anything. Yo, bomb. When you're done, you slide it back. Bomb. You have a, you can't, nobody, you have to slide this and press it for it to cut on. Bomb. Okay. So I'm just going to show you really quick and light that candle I was, um, I'm going to turn it back so you can see. All right. So open it. So you got it. Sometimes I even just put it right over it. Can you see? And the second it's lit. Same thing here. I'm going to cut the light off a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better. All right, so you see that? Light, put it on. It's lit. The third one. It's lit. And there you have it. Your candle's lit. I didn't slid it back. It's off. It lit the candle with no problem. And now, I'm going to go back to the other kit. Remember the kit I was telling you about the candle kit? I'm going to go back to that kit to show you how you use the other one of the other tools that came with it to cut your candle off. So I'm going to take this. You see the candle? Place this over it. Wait like a few seconds. Off. Same thing here. Off. Same thing here. Off. And that's it. And then you can put your lid back on. You're done. So, 
that's that. Okay, so the next thing, you guys know I'm a nurse. Well, if you didn't know, I'm a nurse. So I am always on my feet at work. We are really busy. I'm sure all of the nurses can, um, can attest to that. We are extremely, extremely, extremely busy at work. I'm talking about like, we're just extremely busy. So we, nurses are on their feet all the time. I mean, we are constantly on our feet, always. So I don't know about y'all, but I love a good foot rub. I mean, for real. Like, if I had a choice to pick what, if somebody wanted to give me a massage, like I, I could get a massage and I had a choice to pick like, hey, what part would you like us to focus on? My feet. I love a foot massage. Like, it just, listen, I absolutely love a foot massage. So, especially like being on my feet all day. And I'm, look, I done put on some pounds. I'm, we working on it. <laughs> we working on it, baby. We working on it. But just, just, it don't matter. Like, I'm on my feet all day. My feet, it don't matter what type of shoes you get. Being on your feet so long and doing this and that, like, your feet will start hurting. So, I bought this foot massager from Amazon. Y'all listen to me it is so bomb it is so bomb I'm talking about I was using it every single day every single day every single day let me get it for you okay the foot massager I was telling you about is this one it's an Arling this right here you see it it almost looks like a alien or something like I don't know it makes me think of space or like I don't know something about it like uh, uh, the Power Ranger head or something. I don't know. But um, I don't know. But anyways, this is it. So it looks like this. It has, you know, it's, a, it's electric. You plug it up. But anyways, it has different settings or whatever. And it has heat. You put your feet in here. You put your feet in here, right? And then it has like different settings. It has like a switch mode. This one has like I think like four settings or whatever um, And it has like three the intensity goes up to three um, And then it out so this is the thing it has like kneading It has like the kneading filling and also like it has that airbag like I'm listen It has that airbag thing. It's like an airbag pressure that goes all over the foot, right? Then it has the kneading of the of the uh, like the little prongs on, on the bottom of the foot at the same time Ooh, and it can uh, and it can apply heat when i say i was using this every single day i don't even want to tell y'all that i broke it i'm mad i'm so mad and this one i think this one sold out so i think i'm gonna i don't know i think i might have to get another one last time i checked it was sold out when i tried to get another one this thing i and let me just tell you how just be careful with it because don't drop it like i'm doing holding this trying to show y'all and try not to like just just be careful with it it still works it just is so loud um it's like ah, like it's so loud that it's kind of scary like when, when you plug it up but it still works so i mean i still use it sometimes like i still use it it's just so loud that well, like when I get off work, I'm like, by the time I get home, if it's late, I'm like, uh, this is probably like a weekend thing now because it's so loud when it does cut on. So just be careful. But when I say, when it's back in stock, I'm getting another one ASAP. This thing is bomb, 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 bomb. And all you do is put it on the ground, insert your feet and go. So yeah. So the other thing is my daughter's sound machine. So I don't know about y'all, but me and my child, listen, we have to sleep with it. We have to sleep with it very quiet. Very, very quiet. Very quiet. And if it's not quiet, like if we have any sound, it has to be rain sound. And my daughter's the same way. My daughter, for one, she hates sleeping in her room. Y'all, it's a constant battle to get her to not to be in her room. I'm like, I made her room all beautiful, this and that. And she still only wants to sleep with mommy. So I'm like, you know, I... It's a constant battle, but for the most part, when she is in her room, the sound machine is on. And so the sound machine helps with me too, for one, because like, like I said, she's such a light sleeper that even if I'm doing things while she's asleep, ish, I don't want her to, like, she'll wake up. So, I mean, we've had the sound machine, honestly, I've had the sound machine so long, like years, but it's, it's still the bomb and I got it from Amazon and it's the bomb it, it minimizes, it has like multiple modes. I think like 10 modes or whatever. We really only listen to the brain sound mode. She's like. She's OC. She wants the same sound. And that's fine because it's fine because I'm used to it because I can hear it still from her room. And so it helps, you know, how to help reduce noise. So like if I'm vacuuming, which that vacuum also is 
awesome because it hardly makes any sound but that's on it cancels out whatever noise if I'm in the living room listening to something or I have company or whatever um, I'm talking it, it, you know the sound machine cancels that noise if I'm washing clothes and you know just it, it, it cancels the noise and she can sleep fine she's not waking up like it, it, the sound machine cancels the noise and the sound machine is amazing like I love it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the sound machine okay guys we're in my daughter's room this is the sound machine I'm telling you about and it also, another cool thing about this sound machine is that it has a night light too. So watch this. It has a night light. It has the volume. And it's just touch. You touch it, like how I cut the night light on. I think to cut it off, I just do that again and it cuts off. So cut it on. It has a night light. And then if you keep your hand on it, it's when it cuts on. And then this is the volume. I mean, it can get super loud. I don't ever have it that loud. Turn it back down. So these are the different modes. It has that one, which my daughter loves. That's another one. Grasshoppers, like night to outside, outdoors. Birds chirping. I know what that is. Sound like a truck going by. The rain, thunderstorm. And that's our favorite and it's programmed like it, it remind like whichever one you leave it on and whatever temperature not, girl not not temperature whatever volume you have it leaves it on there for when you cut it back on so yeah this little thing and it just plugs up but this little thing is wonderful all right y'all so what number are we on uh, what we got? The Musu vacuum. We had the, um, candle kit. The electrical candle, uh, what do you call it? Electrical candle, uh, lighter. The, um, what else? The foot massager. The sound machine was number five. Okay, so now we're at number six. So, honestly, none of these are, like, rated, like, they're, they're not in no order. The only one for sure that is my number one is the Musu vacuum, and that's why I just said that one's, like, my favorite. But the rest of them, the ordering doesn't matter. I mean, I love the stuff. But the my favorite is the Musu vacuum. Okay, but so I think we're on number six. I think. Whatever, y'all. Don't judge me. But we're in my room. And so my favorite thing, another thing that I got off Amazon. So I wear glasses. Like, okay, so when I do, like, my YouTube thing, I sometimes don't wear my glasses because, for one, um, the ring light, when I have the ring light on, the lighting, you can see it in the glasses and I don't like that. So, I mean, sometimes I'll still do it cause it's like whatever, but most of the time I don't like it. So, um, but if anybody, if y'all know me, y'all know I love glasses for one, I'm blind as a bat, but for two, why not? There's so many. And now all these places online, um, there's so many different places online that you could buy glasses, prescription glasses for the low, low. I'm talking about bomb prescription glasses. Like, there's so many places. I'm going to do a video. That's going to be, listen, we, I have so many, so many videos coming up, so many videos coming up. But, yeah, I have, a, like, literally, like, I don't know. I have so many prescription glasses. And so I had to find a way to store them that was, like, practical. Because, like, instead of, like, opening case, oh, which one, which one will my outfit, which one will my outfit. So I had to find, like, some a way to, like, make it, like, practical right and so Amazon had this thing that I love y'all look at this y'all look at this it's literally a thing where you can hang all of your glasses and so I just hang it on these hooks right here on the closet but y'all all my glasses all my glasses all my glasses and to be I mean sadly this is not all my glasses because all of my glasses don't fit and you can see that I've even like doubled some in here like I've even doubled some glasses on one thing or whatever but I have like so many glasses y'all 
I love glasses. But yeah, but this 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 thing was the plug. Like this thing was bomb. It is so easy, and it's not like. I mean, you can put it inside your closet if you want, but it's okay. Most of the things in my room is like black and white, so it, it, I mean, it looks good. But I literally, literally love this thing. I literally just hang my glasses in, in the morning, like, oop, look in the mirror, check out my outfit, whoop de whoop whoop Y'all, my room is a little messy. It's okay. But like today, well, if I wouldn't have had my glass, look, like, so like now, this is the outfit of the day. I'm cute, I'm cute, I'm cute, I'm cute. Hey, hey. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, if I wouldn't have had my, um, if I would have been wearing my glasses today, I had a guy dressed, looked in the mirror like I always do, whoop de whoop whoop oh, you cute, you cute, what frames you wearing? And just pick out my frames before I go. Okay, y'all, so I think we're on the seventh thing. So the seventh thing is actually something, another thing for my daughter. Um, so, yeah. So, she's the only child. And so, you, for those of you that know, if you only have one child, they wear some. <laughs> You love them, but they are worse than like they you know, they want a friend you're their <clears throat> You're their friend which I mean you're their only friend in the house So it's like she doesn't we don't have any animals or anything like that because I don't like animals So but so I need something to tie her out and my daughter's really like hype so I need her to be busy and I want her to get in her like her exercise as well I mean she she's little but still like to help her like stay a little bit more active um, especially with like COVID and stuff how we were staying in the house a little bit more and all of that during quarantine and all that but um yeah so I ended up getting this this was like a great great purchase this trampoline is amazing it it, it tires her out look at it I love this trampoline and it literally has the handle you see how it has the handle and she just gets on and she just jumps and jumps and jumps and it's foldable y'all that's the best part you could take this handle off I normally don't fold it and put it away but I mean that is one of the things that made me buy it it's foldable so you can get it out of the way I just keep it up because like she uses it every day she literally jumps on this thing at least once every day and it's fine because if I'm like in here watching TV or whatever just doing whatever I need to do this will keep her leaving me alone for a second. Like, you know, and it'll keep her occupied for a second and, and make her tired. So that way, at nighttime, when it's time for bed, guess what? Baby girl is tired. <laughs> baby girl is tired and baby girl is <laughs> ready for bed. So, yeah. So I normally just put it off to the side right there. I mean, if I have something else going on I'll put it up or whatever but it doesn't like whatever it's fine it's over there it blends in with my curtains but um yeah and I mean because she uses it every day so it'd be like it'd be stupid for me to like keep moving it because she literally uses it every single day but um but yeah so that's that um so the trampoline is good I don't even and it wasn't even that expensive but it helped think about it if you have kids you want to get them tired um you know I'm not in a house yet so um I don't have like huge outdoor spacing and this and that so that's perfect for an apartment or a townhome or wherever you know or even if you have a house but you don't have a lot of space that's perfect she can jump it's good I think it holds up to like 300 pounds honestly um I think that's what it says. I have to look on the thing. But it's good. Like, it's fine. When my, when my um, niece comes, when her little friends do come over, they are all jumping on that little thing. And it's a go because at night, she's tired. Time for bed. Cut on that sound machine. And baby, she's asleep. <laughs> Number eight is kitchen essentials. So I'll go and show you guys. Um, for everybody, I don't even want to, I wasn't even going to put this one on here because I think everyone loves this already. Um, and then some people, I don't want to be that girl, that air fryer girl, but let me tell you, listen, whatever's quick, whatever's easy, that's what I'm down for. Whatever's quick and whatever's easy is what Ashley's doing. Not always, but when it comes to like daily routine, cooking, this and that, let me tell you. So yes, I'm on the air fryer bandwagon. And if you don't like it, Toodles. <laughs> Listen, mama uses the air fryer. Yes, the upgraded easy bake oven. Mama uses it. <laughs> I don't know, because like, I don't know, people have like a love-hate relationship with the air fryer. People are like, oh my god, all these air fryer, blah, blah, blah. But I love the air fryer. Listen, anytime you can, <laughs> if I could just know that if it's something that I can put in the air fryer, you better know that it's getting put in the air fryer. Come close. Come close. Listen to me. If it can go in the air fryer 
It's going in the air fryer. And that's that. That's final. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean it. <laughs> yeah. So, I love my air fryer, y'all. I'm going to show you my air fryer. I mean, anything like toaster strudels, toast. Listen, anything that can be made in the air fryer gets made in the air fryer. Fried chicken in the air fryer. And it's healthier option. Like, I know you guys already know that, all the benefits of the air fryer, but it's a healthier option for whatever it is that you are cooking. Vegetables. And listen, everything. I can roast vegetables in there. Whatever. It doesn't matter. And then now they have, like, those inserts that you could put in there. You can bake stuff in there. Have the right insert that fits. And I have, like, a bigger air fryer, so I can put a lot of things in there. Like, I can put a few things that, so you don't have to keep making a batch. It's like, baby, the air fryer is where it's at. Okay, number nine is the cereal dispenser. The cereal dispenser I like because, for one, it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It's so cute. It's so cute. It matches all my decor. It's, it's cute. And also, my daughter is five, so... You know, it's about that time she starts learning how to make her own cereal, which really she doesn't. I do it for her because she's been a made a mess. But when it does come time, sometimes, and I'll still assist her with it, sometimes if she's like, Mom, can I pour it? I'm like, okay. But it's so cute. I just pour the cereal in there. It's the two containers. So it, it works out perfectly. And it has the nozzle. So literally she could put her bowl under there, twist the nozzle, and the cereal will dispense inside the bowl. And she can just remove the bowl. It's, <laughs> listen. It's the bomb. So she can have, and we have like two different cereals. And it's not even only for cereal. You can use it for whatever you want. If you want to put your rice in there, people can put their rice. Or if you have like, a, if you're a bean person, you have a whole bunch of beans, you can put your beans in there. And then that way, when you're ready to pour your beans out in your whatever, put your bowl under there, twist it, get the beans out, twist it, get the rice out, seal it when you're done so there's no drippage, and move on. But it's, I love it. Every, and, and, and actually, let me just tell y'all, everybody that comes to my house has something to say about the cereal dispenser. Everyone. Not one person has came to my house and not said something about the cereal dispenser when, if they've gone in my kitchen. They love it. And I don't blame them. Like, it is definitely, it's good. So even in the morning for me, like in the morning, she wants cereal. We getting ready? We getting ready? I'll go in there, put the bowl. Sometimes at night, I'll leave the bowl up under there because I already know in the morning she's going to want some cereal. So I'll wake up when it's time for her to get the cereal, take the cap off, twist it. Her bowl is ready. Take it out, put it on her chair. She's eating her cereal. We're good to go. I didn't have to open no box. I didn't have to do none of that. The cereal gets dispensed. That's it. So it's, a, it's a time saver. So listen, I don't know if you have little ones. It's something to think about. The cereal dispenser was number nine, so now we're on number 10. And actually, I guess number 10 works out perfectly, because number 10, listen to me, number 10 is my latest purchase from Amazon. I just got this. And it's two things, so it's kind of like two things, but baby, baby. And I'm actually going to do a separate review, so I'm not going to go in and too depth to this. I'm just going to show y'all. But so I don't like, I'm not a coffee person at all. Like hot coffee? No, I'm not a, per, a coffee person. I can care less for hot coffee. But give me an iced coffee? Oh, I'm there all day. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts? Yes. Starbucks? Yes. I'm an iced coffee person. An iced coffee person. Like I, that, that's the kind of coffee I will drink is an iced coffee. Because it's like a drink. I will drink that. That's, that's, that's good. So y'all. But think about it. Just I'm just trying to do better like with my budgeting and this and that because like y'all, listen, I got to get some control. <laughs> I got to get a handle on it. But so that can get expensive. Buying coffees every single day. And I wasn't buying them like every day or whatever, but I do like a nice coffee. And I'm just like, like no, I, how can I make this? How can I make this at home? And y'all, Mr. Coffee. Mr. Ice Coffee. That's the name of it. Mr. Ice Coffee. Y'all. <laughs> Listen to me. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know, but Star uh, not Star well, Starbucks too. I love Starbucks. But Dunkin' Donuts has this um, iced coffee called Charlie. <gasps> With a foam on top. Y'all. Bomb. So now that, yo, it's so good. That one, I was like, okay, I'm going to go today. Not tomorrow. I'm going to go the next. It's so good. So now I can make my own. Now I can make my own. I have Mr. Ice Coffee. So I bought a Mr. Ice Coffee. It's an ice coffee maker. It's sleek. It's cute. They have several colors. You know me. Black. Black and white. So 
it's very sleek it's very small and yo it just i don't know what it is about it but it dispenses the ice the iced coffee it's it's like perfect the mixture is perfect because you know what i was thinking a lot of people because i was thinking the same thing too i'm like ashley really you're about to buy an iced coffee maker like why not just get a regular coffee like just use your coffee maker which i don't have one because i don't like coffee but i was just thinking like why don't you just get a regular coffee maker and just pour ice in it but no whatever whatever the science is in it it matches it up for the because the cup shows you like how much ice to put in there and then the cup shows you how much water to pour in there so whatever the ratio they got it down to a science i'm telling y'all that the melted ice like that i listen bomb because if you use regular coffee and put ice cubes it's going to be watered down this whatever the ratio is because when you see you'll see like when it dispenses it dispenses very dark like it, it bomb just listen to me the coffee bomb the iced coffee it comes turns out bomb and also the other thing i bought a frother <laughs> so you know how you go and they have like the little whipping on top i brought a frother also from amazon and it's cute too like it's aesthetically pleasing too like the little corner look good i got the cereal dispenser i got the iced coffee maker and i have the frother listen you can froth whatever you want it has cold um cold frothing option warm frothing option and then it's like another it, you have to look it has like several like options but when I make an iced coffee, I want the cold frothing option. And it is so good. Like, I'm going to make this. I'm making a full separate video reviewing the Mr. Iced Coffee and the frother because it's so bomb. And I want y'all to know. Like, it's saving money. Think about it. Every single day. It takes like three minutes for the coffee to make. And the frother is like two minutes. So, at the same time. So, think about it. That's like three minutes of your morning. Wake up. Have it. Boop, 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 boop. You're good. <clears throat> You can make your own frothing, like frother. You could use like uh, heavy whipping cream, but I, I didn't even do all that. I bought some creamer. You pour a little bit in there, turn the frother on. It goes by itself. Cause you can get the other frother that's way cheaper that you press and it like has the little thing that spins or whatever, and you hold it and whip it. But you know me, I gotta be extra. And I just um, and it's fast. I like the thought that you, I don't have to be there whipping it up. That's the point. I want whatever. Like I said, if it's saving time and it's faster, that's what I want. So in the morning, I um, press the button for the coffee, put a little bit of uh, creamer inside because I don't add extra sugar into the um, to the iced coffee. Put a little bit of creamer in the uh, frother. Cut it on. Go finish getting ready. The co is bowl. She's eating her cereal. I'm finished getting it ready. Okay. That'll be done in a second. When it's done, the iced coffee's done. The frother's right there. Pour it inside the iced coffee. Put my lid on. My coffee's done. No Dunkin' Donuts. No need to go to Dunkin' Donuts. Or Starbucks because it's done. And it's so bomb. So I'm going to take y'all in there so you can see it. Look at my baby's drawings. Look at that. Look, my pumpkin's so cute. But anyway, is the air fryer. I have the InSky air fryer. That's that right there. This is the cereal dispenser that I was telling you about. Bomb look at it this is a cereal dispenser that I was telling you about how cute is this this is the lid and it, it like you know people always ask me is it airtight it's definitely airtight it's definitely airtight so that's what that looks like you just take your bowl you place your bowl under there and you just twist there's a cap up under there you take the cap off and then you would just twist it. I don't want to do it because I don't want to waste any cereal. But you just twist it and it dispenses the cereal. Take your bowl out. Put the cap back on. And you're done. Like that. Like, come on. Come on. It's a no-brainer. To me, that's a no-brainer. To me, that's definitely a no-brainer. You literally... So this is her Fruity Pebbles with marshmallows that she loves. And then this is like the waffle... I think it's like waffle crisp or whatever. So you just put it in there. Just twist it. Take your bowl out. Eat your cereal. It does not get stale. People always ask, does it get stale? No, it does not get stale. Okay. So that's that. Now, the Mr. Coffee. This is the Mr. Coffee right here and the frother. The Mr. Coffee goes right here. It comes with the cup. Anyways, this is the, the ice line. The ice line's right here, and this is the water line. So you'll fill your water up to here, pour it, lift this up, it goes in there. Then you fill your cup with ice up to here, place it up under there. Okay, the coffee goes in there. Press your button. And the coffee starts dispensing. And then you're done. In the morning, you're done. Take it out. Alright, so then this is the frother. 
this is the frother. We'll pull the frother closer. I don't even know. That's the name of it. I ain't gonna try to say that. But this is a frother, and these are the different settings it has. It can do like a whole bunch of frothing. And then this is the option I always use. Why is it not focusing? Back there. I use the um, cold, cold frothing option. And so this is the lid. You literally just open it. It has a line right there where it tells you where it goes. So you can fill up, depending on how much you want. I never want a lot, so I always just put it down to like where my finger's at right there. Put the lid on. Put it back on this base plate. You just click it on. Press your button. It'll cut on. And I'm telling you, within 60 seconds, you're done. So this is like my favorite little kitchen setup right here. I have the air fryer, the frother, and that bomb. Bomb.com. Okay, y'all. I was almost done with the video, but I completely forgot the last thing. Um, I had one more thing I completely forgot. It was this charger. This charger from Amazon. If you have an iPhone, you already know them chargers. Like, I don't know what it is. Even if you buy them from Apple, like, they just break so fast. So, I found this charger on Amazon, y'all. This is the char this charger has lasted so long. Look at how it, it's a little, like, it looks a little weird, but look at how this goes. It goes like this. So, when you put it on the phone, it doesn't fray. I mean, this one is a little... This is old. Listen, I've had this for so long. And it comes like, I got it like, you know, you can get multiples in a pack. I have so many, but I haven't even had to use the other ones. I've used this so long. It does not, because you know when you have your phone, the charger's normally straight and it frays. This thing right here is bomb. You clip it onto the phone and that's it. It does not mess up. That is how, this charger is the bomb. You literally slide it into your phone and you're good. Okay guys, so those were my Amazon favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought that was pretty fun and informative, but like those are my Amazon favorites um, right now. And not um, like my faves that I'm using right now. Honestly, I could have listed so many other things because like I have so many things from Amazon. Um, literally, it seems like every week, <laughs> almost every day, something's coming. But I'm trying to like scale back a little bit. Um, but I'll definitely do it again because I have so many things from Amazon, but that's just 10 that I could think of because I didn't want to make this video so long. But yeah, I will link everything listed below. Um, um, hopefully it's still there. If not, you, hopefully you can find something. I'll link something similar. But yeah, um, you know, thank you for coming back to my channel. Like and subscribe and share. Um, and yeah, come back. Join the family. Join Toll's Way. Have a good day. Mwah!